All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can make genetics do things it's totally not supposed to be able to do. It's Species. New world, damn it. All right, we're doing stuff today that we've never been able to do. So Species is one of those games that's fantastic because the developer hasn't really, you know, reined in numbers yet. You can make these numbers whatever the hell you want, which means that all the times when we were trying to make ridiculous crap and it would die, we can force it to live by giving it stupid multipliers. So today, we're going to make the most ridiculous creatures we can and then breed them and mutate them and see how well they crash my computer. So we have a stamina multiplier over here. One is garbage. How about nine billion? Oh, that's a good number. I always love to see the E after the one whenever I type things in. Let's just do the same thing for damage. Everyone can be beating the hell out of one another. Aging rate, I'm gonna leave that like it is. Meat efficiency, all of it. I like it when my meat goes straight off the little measury thing. Tree efficiency, a bunch of nines. Grazing efficiency. You know what, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna make these eights. Seed number uh, one, eight hundred, Miss Cleo. There we go. I heard a commercial about Miss Cleo today. I thought maybe she was dead, but whether or not she is, she still lives on in our hearts. Let's go ahead and uh, do some randomization. <laughs> oh yeah, oh God. I put the creature cap at 60,000 to make me extra sad. I'm not gonna lie, if we get past the loading screen, I'm gonna be amazed because there's so many damn errors in the numbers that we made right now, I don't even know how they're gonna respond to one another. Hey, science will find a way. Give it up for DNA. Okay. So here's some of our beastly invincible creatures that basically need nothing to survive as far as I know. They don't really need food, they don't burn energy, they just kind of wander around aimlessly with no purpose at all. Okay, straight up, this is one of the worst things I have ever seen in a creature. It says it's content, but that's a lie. I can only hope that these are its flagellate creature children growing out of its abdomen and not some sort of weird <laughs> testicular growth. Okay, so over in the genetic, mm, over in the genetic engineering area, we can begin to screw everything up. First things first, you gotta make size ridiculous just to see what happens. I'll screw this, it takes forever. Let's just type in some really big numbers. Ooh, ah. That broke the game. You know it's gonna be a good day when I'm two minutes into a game and I've already hard crashed it. Okay, let's go a little less big. You're a stunning specimen. It's like the Matthew Broderick of shark-toothed kangaroos that are also anorexic in certain places. Okay, maybe we'll just make the size not quite as ridiculous. How about, um, how about 10? How about that? But 11, 14? Yeah, 14, let's do that. I want those child-bearing hips wider. Like, way wider. I have him kind of doing like a pelvic thrust. Yeah, almost like he's sunning himself, or mainly just sunning his groin. How many offspring this creature can create at once? Um, like, what, what, is, what is the American family? Two and a half children? Like two and a half right there, you gotta have that extra half a child. Give him some appropriate arms so he can thrust his groin better. What happens if you make the arms really long? Everyone always wants big biceps. Let's go with really, really big triceps. There we go, it's like he's got cucumbers sticking out of his shoulder. And the tip type will just go random. Oh, never mind, we're gonna do hands. Give him some extra feet here. These are in a position where I don't know if these are extra hands or feet. Also, does everyone notice? <sighs> like this always happens, that there is a little, Niblet <laughs> right here in the middle of the groin area. Why is this here? Something I'm noticing is that there's no way to make this larger from what I found. I can change almost anything in this game, but I still can't give you a larger dangler, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, man. What happens if you bring the neck rotation? <laughs> right, oh, hold on, that's too far. Right about there. I want a different head. We see this head a lot. Now we're talking. Oh, this is his tail. <laughs> That's what this is. It's just facing forward. Tail length. Oh, God. Aggression, all of it. Cowardice, none of it. This is the derpiest creature I think I've ever created. Generate. I'm just gonna call this one the send help asaurus. All right, so now we grab some unsuspecting scumbags, come over here, send them some help save the world because I know it's gonna freaking crash soon. So the hideous beings are starting to pop into existence over here. Uh, 
it's they're pretty bad to give you an idea of what we're dealing with right now this is the size of the standard creature way down here this is the size of the towering monstrosity that we have now caused to come into being god it's like a bunch of just tumorous growths continuing to grow over and over again let me go ahead and hit these guys with a bunch of mutations and see what happens mm. radiation makes everything better oh god radiation does not make everything better it's destroying my computer that didn't take long okay i think we need to move it down from sixty thousand to maybe like a thousand or something okay things are going much smoother now we have some fantastic examples of the creature that we had made although this one's slowly dying this right here is probably one of the most startling mutations from the creatures that we have made that i've ever seen because its eyes are surprisingly human at the end of these awful stalks like an angry human derp tarantula it forgot to grow one of its sets of legs so they're just kind of nubs flailing in the air look at it, it's a bag of intestines just flopping around as it walks you sir are probably one of my favorite creatures that we've ever made even if your left eye is slightly lower than your right eye just like sloth from the goonies I still love you. I do not love that thing that you just gave birth to, though. What the hell is this? So the uh, Freak of Nature clan over here is continuing to flourish. Uh, they're slowly getting bigger. They've now turned into monstrous ostriches, effectively. I don't really know what else to say here. They're slightly aquatic. They also have tentacles on their nose. Oh, they're starting to grow over here, too. I don't know if just someone ended up sleeping with someone else from over there to over here but one way or another the gigantic tuscans have now begun to breed into the water which is good because these are the laziest things i've ever seen in my life you're never gonna develop limbs if you don't do anything i think what we need here is to make another creature actually before we make a creature there's something i just want to do real quick this will probably break the game but that's how we do sadness maximus go Typically, when I do this, it means that the game isn't long for this world. The other issue is normally these things would die, but because we've edited the files so much, they're going to be able to stick around. Now they're just giant floating mustaches. All right, well, while this nightmare is happening, go back over to the genetic engineering. I want something that's just like a giant shark head. Yeah, like that right there. It's more like a crocodile, but it still works. Head scale, bigger. All right, now I don't think that it can move, but it should be able to eat basically anything on the entire map. In fact, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just because I can. Gluttony, a lot. Eh, what the hell, let's bring aggression up too. Laziness, it's not gonna matter because it can't move, but whatever. Oh, Jesus. There we are. <laughs> uh, skin type, uh... There we go, it's the woolly mammoth of the oversized Simpsons eyes shark world. I'm not sure how I did it, <laughs> but I destroyed the map. If you notice, the grass is here, but the map is gone. Some creatures don't even have necks anymore. Their heads just levitate above their body. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Homer Derpson in here. I'm gonna try. Probably gonna have to reload the friggin' map. I've never broken the game in this way before. Hey, the map's back! <laughs> that right there is a glorious specimen if ever I saw one. It looks like an angry watermelon. It just looks like a watermelon with teeth and big ball eyes. Is there any reason why you have learned to fly? I know they haven't added aviation into this game yet. I don't know why this thing is floating in the air, but I guess we did it. We managed to get a creature that knows how to levitate. I think the gigantic head is not the way to go. I think we need a smaller head. I think that'll help. Clearly the floating ball mustaches are doing just fine. They've completely overtaken the, the ocean. God, I love that this thing is a freaking carnivore. All right, so I'm gonna take your head and I'm gonna shrink your head way down, like to the point where you can't even see it. Okay, I've got its, I've got its head extras so ridiculous that I can make its head still really tiny, but the head becomes massive. Oh god, I feel terrible. Everyone now has the freakishly large head trait 
they wander around, their heads dragging on the ground because it makes up 90% of their overall body mass. <laughs> Look at this. Giant eyes are definitely a way to get past the size limitations. Oh god, the big head plague has reached all the way over here now. I didn't put it over here, but now all of the creatures have massive craniums that are like 30 times the size of their body. Look at this thing. I mean, they all seem to be pretty happy. If you're okay being a hideous freak. Oh no. These things are beginning to learn to walk on two legs. The second they get opposable thumbs, the world as we know it is over. It's an herbivore. I mean, it looks like a giant cow, but it's still really creepy because its neck is like 12 feet long. I've always wanted to make a gigantic doom spider. Doom spider on meth. There's something swimming in the water. <laughs> the doom spider has come and it's created this weird tadpole thing. There it is. Look at how beastly. It's weird because it looks, what happened to the rest of your legs? You're not a very good doom spider if you just have two legs. Although its legs are giant spears. So I guess that's cool. Here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. It's vomiting snow, but it still looks awesome because it has at least more than two limbs. In case you were wondering where the doom spider's head is. This is it right here. It's just a small stalk with a cluster of two eyes glaring at you intently for making it this hideous thing that it is. I just, I really want to see how big we can get this thing. I know it crashes soon. <laughs> right at about 7.4. Oh wait, no, hold on, hasn't crashed yet. Mmm, the E values are strong with this one. All right, let's go with that. Please don't crash. What in the hell happened here? This is one of those times where I think it would have been better off to just leave well enough alone because it, it absorbed the gigantic crocodile head. This crocodile is like, hey, great, do I have something in my teeth? Taking a moment to look at the various things that we have Oh God, we have created stuff that should have never been made. Like whatever the hell this is. <gasps> Does that say hollow control face? Pillix? Hollow control face. I did not name that. That is the game having done that. I want everyone to know. <laughs> hollow control face is mating. And as it does, the troll face clan begins to expand further and further into the realm of species. Oh man. Well, thanks to abusing a bunch of the systems, we got to make some of the most ridiculous creatures we've ever made in the game. Thank you developer for allowing us to basically put as many numbers as we want. Anyway folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. Let me leave you with a face that only a mother could love. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.